Hi guys. <laughs> so now I see what happened. So the timestamp when I'm filming horizontal, the timestamp needs to be at the top, but when I fucking filmed it, it was on the side. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I spent an hour filming. I spent an hour literally filming um, my plant themed decks <laughs> to share with you guys, like my collection. And only to find that every video was filmed horizontally. Like the timestamp was showing up on the side instead of at the top, but it looked horizontal while I was filming it. So, because that happened, I can't upload it to YouTube because then it would just be really annoying and the film, the footage would be so small. It's just like, oh. and I had to splice like multiple videos together because I was doing them pieces. So I'm really irritated and because I'm irritated, I'm going to heat up my pho. So I picked up pho for dinner um, and I was like, I went, in, I went early because that place gets really packed and I don't like driving around up here at night because it's a little sketch. <laughs> so um, I'm going to heat up my pho so that I can have a nice hot bowl of soup and enjoy. My stove is so clean because I cleaned it today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy a nice hot bowl of pho. And um, try to forget about the fact that I just wasted one hour of my life. <laughs> I didn't even do tarot readings today because I was so focused on wanting to get like a video in and I really wanted to show you guys my plant decks and it just didn't work out. So we just can't worry about that anymore, can we? <laughs> Please excuse my my body. Actually, don't excuse it. If you don't want to look at it, don't look at it. But, you know. So this place is pretty cool. I like to see how different pho, pho places do it. Um, this place, they put everything in a bowl, so that's kind of cool. I'm just going to toss it all in there once it starts to heat up. Um, and I have my own uh, my own bowl that I picked up at a one of those like Asian market places. So it's like perfect size for a large bowl, a large bowl of soup. So I'm gonna do that and then um, eat and indulge. And I always have extra, I always have extra chopsticks from when I go to get sushi. They always give you like extra chopsticks so I save them all. <laughs> I took one of the plastic spoons from the pho places, um, so I have one. <laughs> I'm so bad. But yeah, so I have my own spoon to eat with. Usually they give you one. This place didn't, but yeah. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So while I wait for that to heat up, let me plant you guys on this so I have a little bit of height. So how are you guys doing? Um, I guess I guess this video is just gonna be me giving you guys an update and just literally just mumbling and jumbling and there's, there's really no purpose for the video. I just wanna put something out on YouTube now because I was so gung-ho on getting the plant video up there. So, yeah. <laughs> um, life updates. So my hubby is, he's doing well at work and he's going to be going into his second phase of training, which means his schedule is changing, which means, oh, you got, you're starting to boil real fast, um, which means he's, he was doing B shift, which was 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. and um, now he's going to be doing C shift, which is um, graveyards. So that's what he's doing. He's gonna be starting that next week, I think. I think next week is his first time. <clears throat> so 
So let's just drop. Ooh, I don't want it to splash though. Let's just drop everything in there. Oh, I love it. I love pho, you guys. It's one of my favorite foods. Just gonna make sure that meat cooks. Now, this place doesn't seem to give you as much as the, the place that I like to go down, down the hill where I used to live. But it is what it is. That's the only thing. That's the only down, downside of like falling in love with certain places that you like to eat all the time. <laughs> it's because when you have to find another one, it's usually not the same. But it smells good, so... I mean, how different can pho be? It's really the broth, I guess. The broth. So yeah, my husband's gonna be doing um, graveyard shifts and he'll be doing that for the next month. And um, so the graveyard shifts will give us a little bit more time to see each other. And then the third phase will be morning shifts, which will be really cool because he'll be getting home by two in the afternoon um and then his fourth phase will be who knows what shift it'll be and then he was telling me um last night that he's thinking they're gonna put him and the other new guy on b shift which is the swing shift hours so it kind of sucks but at the same time um he comes home at 10 o'clock at night so he's usually home with me to sleep with me <laughs> so i'm not sleeping alone um which is better than nothing i guess so hey I can't complain. In the meantime, while I'm working, you know, it is what it is, but once I'm not working anymore, it'll be way easier to have some, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with him. So, the whole um, plan of not working and all that is heavy, heavy, heavy on my mind. I hate when I have like a piece of hair hanging there. <laughs> it's heavy on my mind, you guys. <clears throat> I haven't decided yet. Um, how long I want to stay or whatnot, but it is definitely on my mind. Um, we just have to sort out our budget and um, see how it'll be. So this next check that he gets, um, sorry, it's like really, really boiling. Okay, I think it's ready. This next check that he gets at the beginning of um the beginning of December is going to reflect his legit pay because November's pay was a little bit short because of the weird, like the weird time he had between his academy graduation and then like when he started working. So this next pay is going to be like the pay. <laughs> so once we get to see that, we'll be able to see what we're playing with and what it looks like for, um, you know, for me and him as far as um, the plan to, for me to, to work or not work or how long and all of the above. Yes. Well, I guess it's about the same amount because it filled up the bowl pretty good so I'm just getting all the noodles okay and then um, I like to put some bean Sprouts, is that what these are called? <laughs> they didn't really give me that much. And then they usually give you like two lines, and I like to put both of them in there. I usually let them soak in there. Um, and then, whoops, I'm making a mess. <laughs> I just cleaned my stove. Oh my 
I just clean my stove. I don't want to. Okay. And then I um, add the sauce. Let me make sure. How spicy are you? Mm. You're not that bad. Okay. Excuse me, it has a kick to it. Whew, it has a little bit of a kick, so we won't be putting all of you in there. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be dying of heartburn. Luckily, I took my heartburn pill. <laughs> like the grandma that I am. I think that'll be good. Maybe a little bit more. <clears throat> okay. And then we're done. And then my spoon. So they gave me another set of chopsticks, but these are like little ones. But I'll save them. I'll save them anyway. Okay, let me put you guys, I don't think I'm gonna have you guys watching me when I eat, but let me put you guys down right here. table so let's put you on that Yum. and you want water <laughs> I need to drink water with this meal because that sauce is a little spicy Put you guys on this box. See so you're a little bit higher and not. Ugh. I think that works, right? <laughs> I gotta let this cool down, so I figured we could chat. We could chat while I wait for my soup to cool down. Let me move you over here. There we go. Don't want to risk you guys falling in my soup. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> whew, that is hot. So, um, yeah, so my husband's going to be doing graveyard shifts, and, um, and we're going to see the big check, like the final check, the check. <laughs> So I'm really excited for that because I want to see what we're playing with. I want to like, I last night I added up all of our bills and like basically tentatively what we pay every month for bills and <clears throat> and all of that. Some stuff changes like, you know, like the, the Edison bill will change or the water bill will be high. Usually it's higher in the summertime. Um, and then like the gas will change, but... I kind of did like a ballpark estimation of what we pay each month. And then um, when I subtract how much we pay for gas each month because of me driving, like me commuting, to give us an idea of how much money we're saving by me not working. Or at least if I get a job up here, you know, that'll be easier. But if not, <clears throat> if I choose not to work at all, which is the plan because I want to do cackling mill and food time full time. Um, it, it's like, dude, we are saving like, it sounds like a lot, you guys, but 
we're saving like $500 a month because it's expensive. Gas is, gas is hovering anywhere from 390 to 410. That's usually been how much it's been <clears throat> per gallon for the last few weeks. So our, um, our gas bill, like our monthly statement, because we, we use a gas card and we, we put gas on the credit card, on the, ca the gas card, and then we pay it off at the, you know, each month we pay off the statement. And so the statement has literally been consistently over $500 a month. So it's insane. But like I said, I drive 120 miles round trip three to four days, th three to four days a week. So you do the math. It's a lot of gas. <laughs> um, hi, Starla. She's like sniffing. No, no, no. I don't, she, you could sniff the soup, but it's hot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's the, that's the whole thing that we're going to be figuring out. Um, when I think about leaving my job, it's like, I don't want to leave it because I like what I do and I get paid really well over there, but it doesn't make sense to drive 120 mile round trip for a part-time job. If it was a full-time job, it'd be a little bit different, but because it's part-time, it's kind of like, it's cheaper for me to not work because that's five hundred dollars. That is literally just from my from my monthly income. That's just going to gas. <laughs> so it's just like, and then <clears throat> you know, the whole idea of buying a brand new car and stuff. It's like, if I'm gonna be commuting, I'm gonna need a car. But we really don't want to buy a brand new car right away. So there's just a lot of like factors to think about, and um, I'm really like. I'm really set on finally <clears throat> doing, like doing me, finally, <laughs> because I feel I felt like all of 2019 it was like letting my husband do him so he can you know have his dreams come true, and I feel like 2020 is gonna be me doing me, and me doing me involves taking my my cackling moon biz full time, so it's gonna happen. Um, <clears throat> It's just a matter of when. When is it gonna happen? Um, oh, it smells so good. It's still steaming though. Um, I probably shouldn't have boiled it, but I wanted to make sure that that meat cooked. So, um, what else, what else? Other than that though, <clears throat> I plan on buying a new laptop because I need one. My little laptop is like seeing its last days. I literally, I had to, um, put all of my files like my tarot stuff and my class my course and all of my ebook files and all that stuff on a flash drive and i saved all of those suckers on my flash drive just in case my laptop like completely dies one of these days um so i plan on buying a laptop i'm probably gonna buy one but by before the end of this year so i can use that as a tax thing for taxes um for my business so, <clears throat> cause you gotta spend money when you have your own business. Like you gotta be using money. Like you gotta be putting money back into your biz, you know, um, write offs and all that stuff. So that's, that's gonna be a really good one to do. So I'm probably gonna be buying a laptop by the end of the year. Um, I wanna look and see if I can get something for during the sales, but it doesn't need to be something. It doesn't need to be anything like fancy. It just needs to be something that I can like utilize to keep up with my website and to do blogs because I really want to get into blogging like you guys are probably like but blogs aren't in anymore <laughs> I don't know are blogs in like do people still blog um but I really want to like start doing the blog thing and um just putting more content on Cackling Moon and I feel like I've been saying that consistently for the last two years at least um, because I don't utilize my website nearly as much as I should and I pay monthly for the subscription so it's like I need to do more with it <coughs> Ooh, I'm all wheezy I was like coughing earlier and blowing my nose like I'm allergic to Starla and sometimes it's a little bit worse than others like Starla her dander she likes to roll around in the litter box like after I scoop it she likes to go in there and roll around in it and I think it's like the dust from the litter I know it sounds nasty but um, usually I, I, I run a wipey over her fur to clean her, but her dander just really irritates my nose sometimes, my sinuses. 
Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, as far as like life updates and all that stuff, I don't really think there's really nothing else like major going on. I cleaned my house a little bit. My, my countertops like this. Oh, well, you guys you can't see it. <laughs> um, this countertop, like my, my husband had all of his junk there. Like he, he likes to pile up papers and stuff. So I went through and like this drawer, that top one right here, that is our junk drawer. So we have like menus for like takeout places and we have like the phone book, um, which I actually threw out because I was like, well, we don't use it. Um, <clears throat> and then like we have batteries and you know, like little knickknacks and stuff that we keep in that drawer. So I cleaned it out and then I cleared off the, the countertop and um, I have like a whole bunch of dishes I gotta put away right there. <laughs> And then I clean my stove, so my stove is nice and clean and stuff. This this center place, this is where my husband likes to work on his um, his reports, <laughs> his fun old reports for work. I tell him to use his office. He has an office, you guys, but he refuses to use it because it's messy. And I'm like, well, you're a messy person. Like you need to clean it. <laughs> so he prefers to be out here in the open. And um, so he works there, but there's always like shit on that table because he's always using it. So you can understand how frustrating that can sometimes be. Um, and then that's also the, the countertop. Like that's the island that I like to film my daily, like my videos <laughs> when I would do like the video diaries and stuff. That's where I sit. So it gets utilized a lot. Um, and then those are like the benches. Remember when I tell you guys like my ass hurts when it's when I'm sitting on like the stools. Can you see? Oh, those stools. So they're like the little round ones. And I have a big behind like, you know, I'm a big girl. So I have a big behind and <laughs> sitting on like a little round stool like hurts my ass. So that's why I'm always complaining about my butt hurting when I'm, <laughs> when I'm sitting there doing my videos. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to eat my pho because it looks delicious and I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna enjoy it and thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you guys later. Bye my loves.